My name is Dennis Hennessy. I'm the Vice President of Steel at H2 Green Steel here based out of Stockholm and we'll be building a plant in Boden, Sweden. We're currently in the stages of getting financed to build a brand new steel company in Sweden, H2 Green Steel in our Boden plant. Their phase one will be two and a half million tons of green steel, less than 0.2 kilograms per ton of steel. And then we have plans to expand up to 5 million tons. As well, we're looking to expand to other locations in, around the world that are um, set up for renewable power and where we can produce the product. Our primary goal is to decarbonize industry starting with steel. So we plan to expand in the other venues. So we have three units. We have a hydrogen unit, an iron unit with DRI, and then a steel unit. And those three will be expanded in other venues where we can help support the decarbonization. Um, very, very easy to come to welcoming. I think there's a nice interaction among the people. It's well done, supported, so definitely be back and, to, and recommend joining us. I, I think networking is key. I think that's where you get to share ideas and concepts and people. Uh, I think, you know, there, there is a nice mix at, where people can interact, make connections and follow up later, so recommend it highly. My name is Samir Larib. I'm the Chief uh, Technology and QHSC Officer in Kuwait Seal. We are steel makers. We make billets around 1.2 million tons per year, approximately 1.2 to 1.3 million tons of rebars per year. We produce all types of rebars, different standards, STM, BS. We are one of the biggest steel making company in the GCC, located in Kuwait. Based on the actual trend in the market, we want also to move to the, the green steel. We have already an electrical arc furnace, which is we are reducing or polluting less than blast furnace companies. There are a, a high interest to, to move to the green steel in the next three to four years. Of course, when we're talking about green steel, starting from the raw material, which is the RI plant, pelletization plant, etc. And this is one of the main reasons we are here today, just to hear about the new technology, the new trends. It is very important to attend such events because we are collecting a lot of information from experts in the market, many presentations related to the field, especially extra discussions about hydrogen. This is the key to turn green. I fully advise them to attend such events, especially in the steel making industry. You need to attend such events at least twice a year. You meet people, you share uh, ideas, you made a network. It helps in the business. Uh, my name is Patricio Venegas. I am a sales and marketing vice president of CMP. CMP is an iron ore producer in Chile. We mainly produce high grade uh, iron ore, magnetic iron ore. We are around 16.3 million tons annually producing mainly pellet feed and pellets for the steel industry. Our role in steel business is that we are raw material producer, mainly thinking in carbonization. We are trying to produce high grade, which is the route that today is proven technology to decarbonize the industry. We are producing pellet feed, high grade pellet feed to produce DR quality and BF quality. We are certainly investing in the new project, seeking more high-grade iron ore for the industry and the needs that they have. This is my first time in MM Steel Club. It's very interesting topic. I see that there is a lot of different events already announced in the future. We certainly will study how to, to, to participate in, in this event, uh, mainly in, in Europe and Middle East. I believe it's a very good chance to have contact with different customers and players in the industry. I believe that this is very uh, high contact. We already, in a few hours, having several contact, and it will be very interesting to spend the, these two days event, have a more, you know, vast contact in, in, in the future. Uh, my name's Simon Buckingham. I'm the technical leader for sustainable materials at Volvo Cars. Volvo Cars is a, an end user of steel, so we're a global player. We're sourcing in markets in the US, in China, and in Europe. We are growing. We have ambitions to sell 1.2 million vehicles by mid-decade. That's growth across all sectors. We, we have also recently announced that we will add another assembly plant in Europe, in Slovakia, and Kovice. So significant growth from, from our perspective. I think the event has been really interesting in some regard, uh, an unusual mix of players, but that has really generated some tremendous discussion. And I think what has been nice has been the agenda has allowed us to sort of breathe and actually discuss and a lot of events where there's a lot more speakers and then a short bit for Q&A. But in this case, we've had time to actually have a dialogue, which in, with a small group as well, has actually been very, very powerful.
I have met several new people today, um, which I will be following up with uh, in the next few weeks. So yeah, for me, it's given contacts and different perspectives and insights, which have been really valuable. Uh, my name is Timo Haimi from Metso Autotech, from Metso Autotech Metals. Yeah, we are located in Espo in Finland. I'm a senior sales manager in the smelting business line. We are, we are doing uh, all kinds of metal uh, smelting furnaces and solutions uh, from copper, nickel, iron, many different uh, apparel alloys. At the decarbonization of the iron and steel industry, this is a hot topic nowadays. Everybody going with the hydrogen or natural gas reduction of the iron ore instead of uh, using carbon for reduction. Those technologies are developing there, but most of the traditional technologies, they demand high quality DRI grade uh, iron ore. That's only three or maximum to 10% of the, of the global iron ores. The rest of the iron ores, the 90%, 90 you need to have some solution there. And there is a need for a solution which is replacing the blast furnaces, taking care of the excess gang which is coming from the blast furnace grade ore. We are supplying uh, this new DRI smelting furnace, which uh, practically uh, uh, melting the DRI, making the final reduction and removing the excess uh, slag from the iron ore. The next process step is able to produce refined the good quality steel. We are using our existing uh, proprietary technology to do this. I want to demonstrate these new solutions uh, to the industry together with the customers. In these green steel conferences, um, previously in this and now here in Stockholm, those are both have been very excellent and interesting. That the size is uh, is good, which means that you can you can have many conversations with the other people here. And yeah, we are like I said, networking is very good. To be, we are seeing many people here and, and having a lot of good contacts. And so, very mm. excellent. My name is Max Menzo. I'm here from the company Autokumpel. We are the global leader in sustainable stainless steel, the number one in Europe in terms of flat stainless steel production. We are the market leader in terms of sustainable stainless steel in Europe, and we want to further drive this position in educating the market, shifting the industry mindset towards more sustainable procurement decisions, and also waking up our market companions to drive sustainability to the edge and save the planet that we are living on. It is a great event to meet other industry experts, to connect with other people driving the change in our steel industry. I'm therefore very much appreciating the organization, everything very well organized. And for sure, I would consider also to participate in future events. I set industry leaders, individual experts, and very high skilled people here for exchange to sense where the industry is moving. Uh, as this needs to be a common approach and this event is really offering also to align here priorities, exchange on challenges, connect and find two ways of working together. My name is Fiona Skinner. I work for the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. We are the Secretariat of the Industrial Decarbonization Initiative, uh, which is an initiative of the Clean Energy Ministerial. We work on hard to abate sectors such as steel, cement and concrete as well, working to decarbonize heavy industry and create thriving markets for low carbon products. We do not work directly in the steel interest industry as part of this initiative, but we bring together a wide range of stakeholders to work on some of the broader questions around the steel industry, such as a topic that has come up a lot in the past discussion already, what is green steel? What is the definition of green steel? And we are bringing together a large range of stakeholders across the private sector, think tanks, academia, government representatives, uh, to discuss these issues and to come together around a harmonized definition of what green steel might be. It's been a very interesting discussion so far. Fantastic to hear some of the perspectives from both the producer, but also from other players in the industry and in the landscape. So great opportunity to have these discussions in a relaxed atmosphere. Okay, my name is Gilberto Cardoso. I'm Brazilian by birth. I've been running my company since the end of uh, 2020. My company is a advisory and consulting company based out of Singapore. It provides intelligence, support for traders and miners in the iron ore and metallurgical coal space. Our focus is primarily on the raw material source, the value news of the material, try to help our clients and customers to place that materials with the high value possible using value news techniques and analysis and helping them guide us through the green steel technology transformation. I've been enjoying pretty much the event. I've been just so grateful, nice, speakers, outstanding conversations, really can and apply for probably for a membership of the MMEs too. Definitely yes. Whatever the conference is, uh, last week we were in Singapore, this week in more technology focus in Europe, 
I think it's a great place for gathering, networking, understand the new technology trends for the market, and probably do business as well. That's the connecting people we're gonna do. My name is Tim Eschat. I'm here for Ferro Labs. We are an industrial machine learning company. We provide our customers with a software to analyze and forecast process behavior of um, heavy industrial processes. The steel industry is a core market for us. Steel manufacturers use the Ferro software to get a better understanding of how their processes are gonna behave going forward to analyze and understand what happened in, in the past. This helps a lot with uh, sustainability initiatives, with forecasting process behavior, predicting uh, KPIs. 2023 is gonna be um, another year of expansion for Ferro. Uh, we're growing, uh, the steel industry is one of the most important markets for us. Uh, sustainability is becoming an increasingly hot topic. We're very happy to be part of the transition to green steel. So I've already started to make valuable connections and uh, the networking is good. Happy to continue with that. I would recommend this uh, event as a good opportunity to my network. The representatives from the various companies are exactly the right level to network with. It's not just talking, but it's a lot of uh, doing here uh, and that is very exciting. I'm Joost Sandberg. I'm the commercial director of HiCC. HiCC is the joint venture of Nobion, Electrochemical Experience, and Macquarie, who has access to the financial markets to renewables. So those ingredients will need to make green hydrogen at large scale at competitive costs. As key uh, enabler of green hydrogen, uh, we're, we're part of the value chain towards fossil-free steel. And that is on two elements. So first of all, you can use the hydrogen obviously to produce carbon-free iron, but also to use the carbon that is emitted from iron to steel manufacturing and produce chemicals such as methanol with those carbon monoxide that comes available. So we are active in both streams and I think 2023 will be an exciting year where we see first announcements of projects, at least from our side. Uh, very good to be talking to our customers, our partners in the value chain, and understand the challenges that they face and also the opportunities that they see. And obviously seek partnerships for the decarbonization of this industry. I actually heard that next one will be in Amsterdam. That's a home, uh, home territory for us. Yes, I would definitely recommend it. My name is Fiona Turner. I'm a physicist. I'm a PhD from Cambridge University in the UK. Currently head of product management at Amatec Land. For the previous 10 years, I was physics section manager. And my background is, is working on the instruments. Amatec Land are experts in infrared temperature measurements for industrial processing. So the steel industry was our core market. We're a, effectively a spin-off company from the steel industry in Sheffield. The company was started by our founder, Tom Land, in 1947. He's uh, he was solving problems in his father's steelworks uh, with the development of temperature measurements technology. Uh, we've got a number of firsts on the R&D front and we still have a big R&D presence. And the steel industry is still a very important market for us. Now we do pyrometers, so that's individual spot thermometers also thermal images and scanners. So far, this seems a, a very pleasant event. Uh, I like the format. It seems that there's some quite key players here. I've just given my presentation and already somebody's approached me and said, uh, do we have a local representative they can talk to? So that's certainly a, a result. Most companies, most business people will be looking to network and uh, increase their, their contacts. Hello, I'm Jimmy Fru from 12 to 0. 12 to 0 has two branches to it. One is consultancy, uh, working with major companies looking at the use of decarbonized hydrogen. They're also developing a concept for a wind turbine that stores hydrogen within a floating foundation to enable a fully decarbonized and stable energy supply. Thinking mainly about the concept that we're developing, uh, we're looking for consumers, industrial hydrogen consumers, who are looking to have a stable supply of hydrogen at scale. We're really here to uh, meet new potential clients and partners for taking this R&D project all the way to scale. I think I've been really impressed with the content today. A lot of uh, innovation being showcased here. People who are involved in the steel industry or the value chain of the steel industry 
I think this is a great event to network with decision makers within this industry. I have enjoyed it very much so far.